Hello, I'm James, shirt cutter at Bud Shirt Makers, and I'm going to show you how to sew on button should a button pull off your shirt. First of all, for me to show you, I need to unpick a button so that I have one to show, sew on to a shirt. So. If a button has fallen off your shirt, you should have little four holes there where the threads were and that should help you know where to sew the button back on to. So to sew the button back on you will need some thread, a needle, a thimble always helps and then some snips to cut any loose threads and of course a button. If you've got the one from the shirt, perfect. If not, um, <laughs> come in and ask us I suppose. So to start you need to get a length of thread. I find if you can do an arm's length like that, that should be more than enough to sew on a button. So then you just need to thread the needle. First try. double length and then tie a knot at the end. There we go. See the knot at the end there. Um, I like to come a little bit away from the point on the underside and then bring it on the right side. So you've got it coming in through there and coming out through there. And then you pull it through. But don't pull it too tight. Let this loose a little bit. What I like to do is tie a little knot here. So you tuck the needle just a little, just to catch a tiny little bit there and put it through. Give yourself a little bit of a loop there and just tuck the needle through it once, through it twice and then you've created a nice little knot there, which is very small, but nice and secure. And then we can get rid of this, but we'll do that at the end. Keep the flow going. So you've got the knot there. You then tuck it straight through the button. You can pick any of the holes, unless there's a design or pattern on it for some reason. So at this point, you want to decide whether you want it as a cross stitch where it looks like an X or as a sort of straight stitch, which this one already is a straight stitch. So I'm going to do it as a straight stitch on this one so that they all match up and are the same, which makes it helps it look less like you've repaired a shirt by putting a new button on it. So you go through and through and then back through there. I like to go as close to the bob. You can go through the holes that are there before, which makes it a bit neater, but I like to try and keep the base as small as possible, so I like to make it quite close to it. So you go all the way through, pull the thread through. You don't want to pull it dead tight, because otherwise you won't be able to get the cloth underneath the button. It needs a little tiny bit of elevation a little bit of a stand. If you want the buttons to be on a massive shank, you're welcome to, you just give it more of a length. But that doesn't solve, that doesn't really offer much because it just means that the button can move around a lot and it kind of makes the cuff a bit bigger, which if you want the cuff bigger, it's fine, but it's totally up to you. So just about that much left underneath. And then you go back Again, you can go through the holes, or I like to just do a little close up. And then you come back out of 
the first hole that you came through and up and then back down the second hole that you went down. So you're just covering over the top of yourself basically and then back out at the same point as you were before. And now this time you go back through the hole but you come out of the next hole along. So if you're doing a cross stitch, you would have gone across over two, and then you come up one and over two. Does that make sense? Is that the right way of saying it? I don't know. So we've now got two stitches on the top layer and one stitch on the bottom layer. And so we're just gonna back over that bottom. So now we've got two stitches at the top, two stitches at the bottom. So it should be nice and secure. So now you just need to tidy up the threads. So you go back out, but you don't come through any hole this time. You come up next to the button. And then just twist it around a couple of times, around the button like that. So it's nice and secure, so all the threads are held underneath there. Nice and secure. And you just tuck the needle through, wrap the thread around the needle twice, pull it nice and tight. And then as we did before, you tuck the needle in just next to it. bring it out a little distance away and then you can cut off your loose ends so you have to be careful not to cut the cloth here but you just want to snip up you can snip a little bit away so you still have a tiny nubbin that then you just massage it out and it disappears and the same with this under bit here which is why you don't want it too close so you have a little bit of thread to play with and you're not trying to get the snips really close to the cloth and then end up cutting the cloth you want to do it get rid of your, your knot and you've got your little nubbin and you just massage it away and then you have two buttons as if you never lost them in the first place <laughs>